So my name is Tony Weaver. I've been at Evraz, uh, gosh, almost eight years now. I started in February of 2012. I'm the manager of transportation and logistics. Uh, we're a pretty small department, but we handle a lot of volume, a lot of different things. It's not just the trucking, it's all the rail. It's the inbound slap from Russia and Mexico and, and everything else. So Evraz is a leading manufacturer here in Portland of steel plate, coil, large diameter pipe, but Evraz as a whole is worldwide. Um, Evraz PLC is, is all over the world. We're vertically integrated. And so, but here in this little alcove of Portland, um, it's, it's kind of interesting because traffic and logistics is usually the forgotten department. But traffic, what I do here is make sure that we have everything that we need so shipping can be successful at, at getting their numbers every month and making sure that our customers are receiving the high quality plate that we produce. <laughs> yes, so we have just gone through a pretty big size order with the Bennett International Department. Um, is it Jennifer that yep. I like so much? Yep. Yeah, Jennifer's She's been awesome. Supervisor. Yeah. Right, yeah, so Jennifer in the International Department is just fantastic. So. Not only do we have you know these bigger jobs that we've seen going to um, Jebel Ali, but some of the smaller things that we do, bringing parts in from I think we just did one from we Spain. Did Spain, yeah. Uh, we usually do. Bennett does a pretty fantastic job for us on our last on this Jebel Ali job that we're actually currently still in. Uh, there's been a lot of struggles. It has been one thing after another, partly because we don't have a lot of ex board experience. Um, Amy has been great and I know that you know she's been really frustrated throughout this process. Not so much at us, but her and I, we are both kind of stuck in the middle sometimes. It has gone for the most part pretty smoothly. We've had to pivot, right? We had to pivot from our original plan in a pretty short period yeah, of time. Yeah, really and, scramble. you know, make a complete change when material was already at the port and we had to take a um, certain amount of that Pivot Six, our plan. Seven truck loads. Yeah, flat racks to two different ports to try to make some other deadlines. And Amy and Jennifer and Ben all worked together really well to make that happen. The, for the us. international team was grinding very hard yes. on that. And where I was very proud of their effort yes. they put forward. Traffic and logistics, and then the shipping department, they're in, completely independent of one another. So Bob and I are our peers. So he, you know, we don't report to one another. He's a superintendent of shipping. He's been here 30 years, I think, and he has a fantastic perspective of all different facets of this place. So we have a, a pretty big job right now that we're really under the gun to perform on. So there's certainly a lot of scrutiny, a lot of um, pressure to stay on pace of that, put out a quality product, and most importantly, you know, deliver on time. Um, so it's good to sit down again with you, Bob. It is. It is. Nice seeing you again, Ben. Good time to be here. Um, we're just uh, talking a little bit about how we uh, got going together, as Bennett and uh, with Evraz, and yep. um, you know, we've been working together. Uh, November uh, 2016 is when. Then it got set up with you guys. So in that time, we've kind of done a lot of different things. We've done some international work as of recent that has been uh, at the top of my plate, and uh, um, as well as helping out the domestic truckload sides. You know, if I need something, literally, literally, and I've done this to Ben before, called him Friday afternoon at five o'clock when he's probably not even at work anymore, and said, I need something this weekend, and he, and he comes through for me. So it's just easy to gravitate toward people who who will go that extra mile for you. If I call Ben, it, Ben yeah, it's mean, a big deal. It's late, yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, he, he would, not that he wouldn't give the same same service to my coordinator, but I didn't get that. There's only like, say, one or two truck lines in, and Ben is the, the biggest horse here that I actually personally call and say, I need something, and know it's gonna get done. 